Hello everybody and welcome to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me as I check out Stardew Valley on the iPad. Yes, I am going to play Stardew Valley on the iPad with you. I did a few episodes of Stardew Valley on the PC and I was told by a lot of people they wish they could play it on mobile devices and I was like, you can! It exists on iOS, on Android, on phone, on tablets. It even exists on consoles, so if you want to play Stardew Valley, there's no excuse. You can play it anywhere you choose. Uh, I wanted to check it out, though, and kind of do a first playthrough of the tutorial with you guys, just so we can see if it's better, if it's worse, if we like it, if we don't, on mobile devices before you go and spend the money for it, because it is a game you have to purchase. It's not a free-to-play. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new game here. And we're going to enable tutorial hits, hints, and I'm going to try to learn how to talk. We're going to change our appearance and our farm type. And I'm going to give myself not my normal name. I'm going to be Kitty. My farm name is going to be Sunnyville. My favorite thing is going to be cats. Or actually, let's be ironic and say dogs. And our preference will be cats. Why not? We're going to also be a girl and we're going to look at the customization features of this because right now here you can see skin colors. There are 24 different options. Already I like this better than the PC version. Just easier to navigate. I think I'm going to make my girl purple hair. We have 32 different hairstyles. Just going to zoom through them really quickly. I know which one I want. Number 22. Shirts. We have 112 shirts we can pick from. Just zoom in. Just zoom in. There's 112. So I'm thinking... I saw one that was like mostly white. There we go. What? Number 78, okay. So then accessories, we have 20, mostly facial. I don't think I'm gonna do any of those. We'll just stick with normal. And eye color. Well, let's do, do like an aqua, since we're a purple girl. Hair color, I think we should go pink. Okay. And pants color. Let's go. Can we match kind of her eyes? Yeah, I think that'll look good. It's too bad we can't change her shoes, but okay. So then we have options here, which I don't remember seeing in the PC version, that you can choose your farm type. So... We can start with a simple plot of land, a large amount of open space to design your farm, a riverland farm, a forest farm, a hilltop farm. All of them have different pros and cons. A wilderness farm. I think for the sake of this playthrough, I'm just going to do a standard farm and uh, eventually we'll... we'll do new farms and do different areas if we continue with this series. So anyway, I'm going to hit the green check mark, take us into the game. Here's our tutorial. And for my very special granddaughter. Okay, glad to see it's just as slow on the iPad as it is on the PC. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Thank you, Grandpa. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. I'm listening. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burdens of modern life. All the days, just saying and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Sounds delightful. 
When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. Twenty years later, Joja, join us. Thrive. We're on work mode. Everybody's at their little cubicles doing their thing. Sadly, there's me in my little purple body with my pink hair. Oh God, and there's a dead person. I love this so much. So funny. I'm like, I want a drink of water. Uh-oh. There's a note. What's it say? Oh, wait. I guess we're not going to read it. We're going to read the note in my drawer from my grandpa. I'm remembering. He told me when life has sucked all of its joy from me, open my letter. And my letter will say, Dear Kitty, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me a long time ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything. I moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride, my joy, Sunnyville Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley. On the southern coast, it's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Thanks. All right, let's go. I'm ready to visit Sunnyvale Farm. Take me there, bus. Stardew Valley, half a mile. We're almost there. Hello, you must be Kitty. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Of course I'll follow you. Take me to my new farm. Luxury awaits. Or not. This is Sunnyvale Farm. Yay! Oh, crap. <laughs> what did I get myself into? What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Will I, though? Will I? And here we are, your new home. Yay! Oh, hi. Bet you're Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. Are you Lewis? We know it's Lewis. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Well, you knew my grandpa. Are you excited? So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage? It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic means dilapidated, but okay. Got lots of firewood there to keep warm at night. Rustic, <laughs> that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> Rude. Rude. Don't listen to her, Kitty. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied the, so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Of course. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. I think I'm going to need it. A lot of it. Good morning. Remember to head back to the farmhouse to sleep and save your game later on. You've received a gift. Tap on the package to open it. All right. I got parsnip seeds and I have a new journal entry. 
I received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started from Mayor Lewis. And then exclamation point up here. Show me my journal. New quests are shown in the journal. Tap on a quest to take a closer look. There's useful information there. So getting started. You start with the basics. Hoe to till the soil. Then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow, to sow a crop. Water every day until crop is ready for harvest. And it would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmers. So you got to do the two of 28. Okay, so I like this a lot already. It's a different look than the PC that's laid out a little bit differently. I do like the fact, though, that you can navigate with your finger, obviously. It's going to be a lot easier, I think, than using a mouse and a keyboard. So we'll see um, the toolbar that's over on the left hand side is typically on the bottom of the screen on the PC and that actually frees up having it on the side, frees up having more space in the display. That's telling me to walk there. Looks like quite a mess. Let's clear this place up. Tap on a weed to clear it. Okay, well done. Try clearing more weeds and rocks. Oh, now I have to say I like this because I'm just tapping and she's using the right tool to clean things. I'm not having to, I was worried that I would have to tap on, you know, the option over here on the left hand side, then go tap on the weed or whatever. This is way, oh, I think I'm only going to play it on here for now on. This is great. Oh, you know what I just remembered? I said I did, wasn't going to play it on console, but I actually have it on my Nintendo Switch. I don't know why that slipped my mind. That was the first place that I actually bought it. Um, so maybe if you guys want me to do a console video, I will do that for you down the line. Just leave me comments below and let me know. All right, so apparently if I want to clear anything that's not a traditional rock, weed, or whatever, I will have to choose like the yeah okay perfect i love this i'm just tapping wherever i want it and she's going and clearing make us a nice little plot to do our farming let's go back to this Might as well clear all around the pond. So we're going to need that pond for water. Your axe isn't strong enough to break this stump. So that's one thing to keep in mind. We do have to um, upgrade our tools. Okay, so let's go. And we'll go over here and we'll start our land. So we're going to go to hoe or clear the land here. I did not read what that pop-up was, so that really should stay down there longer. Great work. Time to add some seeds. So we'll come and pick the seeds. Oh, that is really nice. This navigation is fantastic. The only complaint I have is how fast everything goes through with the notifications. They should stay a little longer. Let's see if we can come in here. All right, so here's the inventory. It shows the items you're holding. See how fast I went by? I couldn't even read that. Here's my skills. I can improve my skills by using tools, foraging. Yeah, they need to slow that down. Here's my social page, my relationships with people I've met. This is where you craft new items from the things you collect and grow. I want to give a big shout out to Gail Washington for telling me about the ability to come into all of these different options and craft things, which I did not know about. 
I need 50 wood to craft this chest. And I kept saying in the PC version of the game that I was playing, I wish I had somewhere to store stuff because I was out of storage because you only get 12 slots in your backpack and upgrading the backpack's really expensive. And she's like, go in here and craft it with 50 wood. So we're gonna do that. Uh, I just need to get wood. I don't have wood yet. So, uh, or much of anything. I have 11 and I don't even think that's counting it. But anyway, so thank you, Gail, for doing for giving me that information because it was definitely a helpful thing. And it was kind of like a duh moment because that just makes perfect sense. But anyway, so I'm going to go back in here. Here is our map. Um, and we can navigate the map just by moving. And it will tell us where things are that we're looking at, what time they open. Um, Here's something I'm assuming the collections page, it's track of things were, that are shipped. This is stuff that will fill in over time. And then here are our controls. So I wonder what that control toggle button is. I'll leave that there. We can save. That's awesome. Let's do that now. Invisible but, or button width. Adjust joypad controls if you're using that. You can change your audio. So I'm going to take my music all the way down. We'll keep everything else about midway. And let's see. Menu padding toolbar. I was just wondering if there was anything that would let us keep the notifications on the screen longer, but doesn't look like it. But anyway, that's kind of a look at that part of the display. If you touch the time, the date, and your money, nothing really happens. Oh, that's the button I just turned on. I'm not sure what it does. Yeah, I'm not really sure what having that on or off does. So if anybody knows and wants to let me know, let me know, that'd be cool. Anyway, let's get 50 wood and craft our first toolbox because we need it. Hopefully I can get 50 wood before I'm all out of energy. Can I get rid of the stump oh good just cut that little thing down normally I like a lot of trees but for right now I think we need wood more oh and I do like that I just click on the tree and she navigates herself there. This is definitely a lot more enjoyable to navigate than, oh, you can stop. You can stop now. Than to navigate on the PC, in my opinion, so far. I might be playing this a lot. I'm kind of into this game now. I'm going to run out of energy. How much wood will I get out of this? Oh, I'm at 62. Okay, so let's go in here and see if we can craft it. We can. A place, so we're going to craft that. And now that's in our inventory. So let's go back up to our house. I think we'll come over here by this other box. And we'll take it and see how we put it out. So touch. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. I love this. So touch on it, and then you can precisely put it where you want it. And then you can come in here and like I, let's just put our seeds in there for right now. So we'll put it there. And that frees up a spot for us out of our 12. 
I love you, Gail Washington. Thank you. Best tip I've gotten so far. Because really, this is like the third time I've, maybe fourth time I've opened this game and played. Uh, and so I want to do, starting this game, I want to do this better than I did on the PC version. And I think I'm on my way. So now we're almost out of energy. It's only 3 p.m. I don't know if we can go meet anybody, but I think we should try before we go to sleep. Wait, why does it want me to hit those? What do, what do you want me to do here? Ah, it's telling me to dig, I think. I don't know. Ooh, hold and drag to follow your finger around. Okay, well, I know that. Thank you. Already doing that. I thought you were telling me something special. I love that you can zoom in, zoom out. This is really, really cool. So far, if you guys ask me the best place to buy this game, I would probably have to say mobile so far. Hello, you must be Kitty, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. The only downside mobile, uh, my husband runs the general store here. Have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with purple hair. Ooh, we're going to get along great. The only downside, as I was saying, is right now I don't believe you can do multiplayer on this. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to do some research, but hopefully they're going to be adding that. So let's just keep meeting people. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. I'm just going to meet people. This is fantastic. The the zooming in, the zooming out of the map, the auto navigation, I love this. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. All right. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. I'll see you around. Let's go in the general store. In stores, tap the counter in front of the shopkeeper to buy or sell goods. Okay. Let's just meet people right now. Or not. Let's take a look at our social, which is the hearts. So, I think everybody with two hearts we've met. So let's go back to our exclamation point and see we've met seven of the 28 that we need to meet. So that's pretty cool. But the people in here are not talking to us. Hey, it's Miss Kitty, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Sweet. Can we talk to this person? Uh, maybe I hadn't actually selected her. No? All right. Well, let's get out of here. Auto navigation. The, sorry about that. The best thing ever. Oh, look, there's kids sitting on the bench. Oh, and that's a school or saloon, not a school. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? That's Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Well, thanks. Hi. <laughs> Hi. All right, it's now 6.50. Let's just walk back this way and see if we run into anybody else. So I wonder if we can get on the bus. Let's try. Never tried that before. Oh, you can, but you can't really do anything. Maybe someday. Maybe I'm just missing something. I think I should just go and 
chop down some more stuff until it's bedtime. So it's getting close to that. It's 8 o'clock. Clear more land. I'm starting to feel exhausted. Okay, so you can see that the energy meter started to shake. It gave me a notification. I have not yet gotten so exhausted that I've passed out anywhere, but I hear that there are negative things that happen if you do that. So I want to try to avoid it as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff in the chest. See if I can make some money. I think I'll keep my wood because I'm going to make another chest so I don't run out of space next time. But now I think I'll come over here and I think I'll put my sap in there. That frees up my bar so that tomorrow when I go out I can have more space to gather stuff as well as tonight I should make some money when I go to sleep. Yes. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. If you enjoyed this and you really would like to see more, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. Also, leave me comments below to let me know if you're enjoying me playing Stardew Valley and if you'd rather see it on PC or if you'd rather see it on mobile. I'm leaning toward mobile myself. And if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe, then ring the bell, because that will let YouTube know that you like notifications when I post something new on the channel, and that way you don't miss out on anything coming down the line. And I have lots of good stuff coming. Uh, lots of fun games I want to check out, and more replays of other games I'm playing, and of course, plenty of Sims. And I guess that's it. I will see you guys again real soon. Have a great one.